Yeah. This is how we do. Nigga, our money stay up, nigga, just like my money. You know what I'm saying? After 45, we got the 90 on the shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit doing 45, you fucking up. You know what I'm saying? This shit got to do the 90. On the 28, you know what I'm saying? Look at the diamond stuff. I'm going to just elaborate on that shit, man, because this shit for real, man. You talking to niggas that know this game and live this game and seek this shit, man. You know, I fuck with real pimps, man. Niggas just out here having this shit. And a lot of you niggas out here, man, screaming at PIMP, nigga. You niggas ain't never even, nigga, you couldn't get a hold of pay. You never, nigga. Nowhere. Couldn't send a bitch nowhere, nigga, to the store. Nigga, bring back your chain. So get that shit correct, nigga. Get some real ass shit out here, nigga. Nigga, get your shit right. If you's a rapper, you's a rapper, nigga. And if you're for real, nigga, you know, the nigga say what you is and be what you is. What about the niggas that they pimp and still rapper? Oh, well, nigga, here we is, nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? We, we right here, you know what I'm saying? Go buy the album. It's coming soon. Boston B. Shit. You know, if you don't think it's pimping, nigga, ask your bitch. Okay, Rick, go for it. You know what? It's, it's real life because... I grew up a lot of different places, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in New York, and then when I moved here to Milwaukee, I ain't never seen nothing like how niggas pimp in the mill. Like, you never gonna see no type of pimping shit, hustling shit, like, here in the city. So what I learned, I adapted that to my life. I ain't, I ain't, I wasn't on the strip. I ain't have, you know what I'm saying, no hoes or nothing like that. But what I did was, when I jumped in the music business, I pimped the music industry. I signed the Usher as a rapper. The nigga threw me a beat. I wrote two songs on his album. I had never wrote an R&B song in my life, so I started pimping the business. I started making them niggas pay me. So I started writing songs with Marcus Houston, Omarion, TLC, B5, Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on. Fantasia, Mario, you know what I'm saying? And we doing it B.I.G., but what you got to do is you got to learn how to adapt. You can't rap about some shit you don't live, you know what I'm saying? I ain't pop niggas, I ain't so dope, but I hustled the music business. So when I say I'm a hustler, that's what I mean, you know what I'm saying? And then everything is real life. You can hear me on my album talking about I'm busting guns and no shit like that. I don't do that, my niggas do that, you know what I'm saying? But I get money, you know what I'm saying? I know how to break a bitch, you know what I'm saying? And the music industry is like a bitch to me because I'm breaking it every day. Niggas got to have my money at all times. Never signed a bad deal in my life, nigga, and I'm straight out the mill, 414. It is what it is. Talking about pimps and pimping can. You know what I'm saying? How, how you know what? Real talk. I used to see pimping can all the time in Atlanta. Nigga always showed me love. You know what I'm saying? When I was hustling, they had no money. We used to pull up on a nigga in front of the Publix, put up a nigga Greenbrier Mall in front of Kaya. That's, that's how far we went back when it wasn't even called Visions, nigga. When it's called Kaya, I used to see the nigga. He showed me love, selling the DVDs. He always shouted me out and shit like that. Niggas been doing this shit for a long time. Grew up listening to Pimp C. Niggas been doing this shit for real, man. So you gotta respect pioneers in the game. And nigga know he always anything he need from me. I already know he got it, you know what I'm saying, real shit, and one thing he taught me on one of the old DVDs I seen, he said, pimp me, put it in my pocket, so we all is pimping, if you get money out here, you pimping, it just, just mean put it in my pocket, no matter what you pimping, it's just about having the right mindset, and all that respect you, so get on your knees and thank God every night, despite the life we live in, despite the things we do, as long as we acknowledge God and acknowledge that without him, we ain't got nothing, we good, man. That's so it's safe, it's, safe, it's safe to say that Pippi Ken has been an influence in your music in some form? Oh, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Being from the mill, if you if you from the mill, Pepper can influence you anyway. You know what I'm saying? A nigga say that just a flat out hater. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't even agree with the things he do or the things he say, you gotta respect the nigga who get out here and get it, man, and respect it all over the world and still come home. You see the nigga, we was growing up seeing a nigga in 50 Cent videos and all type of shit like that and still be at the crib. You know what I'm saying? So that's love. That's the same thing I, I try to do. You know what I'm saying? I've been all over the world. I toured the whole world. I wrote songs for the biggest artists. I got a record coming out on one of the biggest labels. But I still come home and I'm still, you know, still right in front of Silver Star in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Just showing love. So you couldn't learn that unless you watch Pimper Can do that shit. We watch the nigga go all over the world, come back home, still keep it pimping. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love, Mealtown, man. That's the motherfucking king. He ain't never needed security, nigga. Never needed security. Yeah, I see him all over the world. He ain't never. Yeah, he ain't never needed security. That's how you know you're a real nigga. No matter where he go, he ain't never needed security. I remember I was in, uh, I was in St. Louis, and uh, I was in the project. I was selling my tapes, and there was about 100 niggas, and one nigga dropped a pistol. I said, oh, man, I got to go, man. They dropping pistols. Everybody up in now, Pippa King, you ain't got to go nowhere. If anything go down up in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? We going to take care of it. And that's been, like 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 Rico said, man, it's been like that all over the world, man. I be in the club, man, and I be thinking I'm by myself sometime, man. There be a hundred dudes in the club, and they be like, Ken, man, we got your back. We got your back. Niggas grabbing my hand, put my hand on their waist, you know what I mean? Let me know they strapped. I'm talking about some man, you know. You know what I'm talking about, homie. I'm giving you some love. I can't say your name. <laughs> you understand me? You know, it just, it just, it's wonderful, man. 
to be, you know, you know what I'm saying, me to be blessed as I am, man, you know, and have the things that I have and still be able to, you know, ride around here, man, you know, with a with a clear conscience and know that I, I haven't done anything destructive or negative to nobody, you know what I'm saying, man, that's one of the reasons why I don't have no security. I do have some security, my social security card, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know. And, uh, well, let me ask you a question, man. I mean, we see you, we like in the hood. In the background, we got the Phantom, and you got all these jewels on. Somebody would say, well, why would Kim, Pippi Ken be in the hood selling tapes? Well, you know, one thing that I try to teach these young brothers is, man, you know, irrespective to your position, man, you know what I mean, you still have to, you know what I mean, stay grounded. And, you know what I mean, me doing that is more so like, it's a testimony, you know what I'm saying, to the young people, man, that you can get out here, you know, you can be flashy, you can have cash, but you can still be out here and grind, you know what I mean, because, you, you still got to work. Yeah, you still got to work, and, you know what I mean, I do it, you know, for my, my sons, too, you know, when they come up, I don't want them to think that daddy had it easy, you know what I'm saying, so when they see the ghetto street section, they see me selling tapes out, out the trunk, and out of my bins, you know what I'm saying, or out of my Escalade, they say, man, you know, daddy was a hustler, and that's what I'm trying to teach my kids, that's what I'm trying to teach Boston B, that's what I'm trying to teach Rico, that's what I'm trying to teach Paper Chase and anybody else, Don Fetty, anybody else, uh, Maroy, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, me and Maroy went across country and, and sold tapes out the trunk. That's what I am, man, I'm a hustler, man, you know what I mean, but a real hustler, man, is not by word, it's by action, so that's what we do, you know what I mean, my niggas, they grind every day, I see my niggas grinding, I ride fast, you know, they got the doors popped up, you know, got the block on lock, you know what I'm saying, me handling their business. And then by the same token, you know what I'm saying, I see them in the studio putting their work in and, you know, making things happen. You know, I heard some shit that him and my man PC did together, you know what I'm saying, me. You know, it's just a, it's a, it's a, it's just a blessing, man, to, to hear brothers like Rico who have been all over the world and say, Ken, you know, you know, you influenced my life. And I am the Roy Highness Milwaukee's fighter. I take that title. I know I'm the king because I put it down way before everybody else put it down. And I, and I set the pattern. You know what I mean? When the next king come, and take the crown off my head, put it on his head and say, Man, you know, hey man, welcome to Milwaukee, man. Take it, and you know, send me to the next level and pass the crowd when it's the next man turn. You know what I'm saying? But right now, you know, I'm holding it down. When the next man come around, when Rico, you know, send me go 50 times platinum. I'm saying, Rico, here you go, baby. You know what I mean? You know, Boston B, here you go. You know what I mean? Paper chase, here you go. I'm not tripping. You know what I'm saying? If I get out and sell the tape, and you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, and I live in a house that you understand know me. I really don't have to sell shit in. And my house fully furnished, and I got all other kind of shit I don't want to talk about. You know what I mean? That lets you know I ain't got no pride. I ain't got no motherfucking pride. I don't give a fuck about nothing, man. I'm a hustler, man. I would have sold some tapes this week, but there's some people here. <laughs> you know, Pimp that was here, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want them to be like, kid, hustling too hard. But uh, I will be selling tapes next week again. <laughs> <laughs> tapes be back on sale next week. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me get a new tape. <laughs>